Alright, so a few things to iron out. Uh, for example, these buttons change profile image and change cover always appear here regardless what profile you're on. So even if it's not your profile, these buttons show, which is not good. And the other thing is that if I go to my own profile and go to comments, for example, so I have comments here uh, and I may want to delete a comment that's not mine just because it's on my post. So I don't have that uh, delete button here. So we're going to add that as well and give access to delete such comments. And then finally, when you, when you add a cover image and you delete or you change the cover image, it actually deletes the, the image here, which was in the timeline. This is why some of these are empty right now. So let me give you an example of that. So if I change my cover, browse, and let me change the cover image to this one, change. Okay, there we go. So new cover image right there. Now, if I do change this again, browse, change it to some other image. Let me find one that is not a P, PNG. This one is PNG. PNG. Okay, that one we will do change. Okay, so you will notice that now this uh, this post has no image anymore, and this is because we set it up to delete the previous image just to save space. But I think uh, that is not a good idea. Instead, we should delete images from, uh, from posts. So to solve this problem is very easy. Let's go to our folder and look at changeimage.php. Open that. And so here there's a part where we are unlinking the cover image or unlinking. So unlink is the delete. So let's just uh, mute those comment those two out and that should actually work so let me try this time and change the cover image again uh, let's change it back to this one change okay so now you will notice that this image is still there but I have to be able to delete it when I delete the post because then it's pointless. All right. So let's see how we can actually do that. That will have to be done in the post.php class. So in the delete post function. So let's come down here. So uh, delete from posts where that so just after this we can delete whatever image was in there in that post if it had an image so to check for that let me go to change image we can use uh, this same formula right here if change equals cover else fire exists okay so we can use these same if functions right here so let me copy this Actually, let me just copy this whole thing here. Post.php class. So delete post. So the thing is, we need to know what file name that was. So if I go to our table in posts, I'm going to see that the column is image, right? So let me come back here and let me go down here and paste here just to keep that safe so i will come back to change where is that delete.php so what i'm looking for is this one right here get one post so let me copy that go back to uh post.php delete post so right at the top here, I want to get 
one post. So I'm going to paste this here and assign this to one post. One underscore post. So say one post is equal to. Now I need to instantiate this, of course. So I, I should copy that as well. Where is the instance? There we go. So instantiated, get one post, but we need the proper ID, which in this case is this one. Post ID. Okay, so one post should have our post. So at this moment, since the data is already saved, even if we delete from the uh, database, we already have our data in there, so we can still evaluate it down here. So let me come down here and ask the question. If file exists, so if there's any file, it's not cover image, it's just image now. Image like that. Now, if there's no file in there, this 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 column will be empty, so still it will check if the file exists. Or we might save it that trip by simply doing this copy and say if is not empty and file exists, that one. So if it's not empty and the file exists, then we can unlink the same uh, image right there one post unlink great i think that should uh, suffice so let's see if um, if we can actually do that so first of all let me say view image so that i can see the path to the image so this image is in uploads 434529 so let me go back here Come back to my book uploads uh 435 oh i think i missed something view image the actual file name is qra something like that so let me come back here which one this one so that's qra and so on great now also we have to remember that uh, there are thumbnails here So this one is, where is this? This is the thumbnail here, QRA. Okay, this is the one right here. So to get the thumbnail, we just have to put underscore post thumb at the end. So we must delete that as well. So let me copy this and come down here, duplicate. And actually there are two types of, uh, let me come back here, wait a minute, go back to the folder. So there are two types of thumbnails, there's the cover thumb and the post thumb. So we have to look for both of those and make sure that they are all deleted so that one, two, three files will be deleted when we delete that post. But since this is our current cover image, I think we should target this one. So this one is clearly this one here. So I want all three images here to go. So there's post thumb, cover thumb. So let me go back here and do as required. Okay. So at this point, we still need to check for that file exists. Now what we will do is at the very end of this we will add something here. So let me concatenate here and put a dot like so and then underscore post underscore thumb. But on this one I will say cover. So whatever the name is underscore cover thumb because this is exactly what we have here. Post thumb, cover thumb. Okay. And not to forget to copy this as well down here. 
and that as well. Copy. Boom. Okay. So we could put um, something to remind us here. Delete any images and thumbnails. Okay, delete any images and thumbnails. So moment of truth, let's click delete. Are you sure? Yes, delete. So that is gone. Or is it? Did it actually leave? Okay, so let me delete this one here and see if this remains like that. Delete. Okay, now actually it's gone delete delete okay that works out uh, really well and also one more thing that we forgot is that when you're deleting a post that post might have uh, comments so those comments as well should be deleted now deleting comments is going to be easy because every comment that belongs to that one has the parent so where is the uh, yes right there so the post id is the parent here so we can just delete every comment with that post id so let's come down here and do the same thing and say delete all comments so this is just a matter of running a query so let me put that query down here delete from posts where parent like this where parent is equal to post ID okay so we're going to remove limit one because sometimes there are more than one comments delete from posts where parent is equal to that okay great and also uh, okay so since this is a post let me see what we are doing here delete uh, okay i think that's good enough all right so let's see that we haven't broken anything so let me come back here and see what post has a comment so this one right there a comment so let's come here and find a comment in the table which is this one right here number two so let's see if that one will be deleted as well so delete and delete okay where is this why have i gone to the Oh, it has taken me back to the single post, hasn't it? Okay, that has to be looked at. But let me come back here. So no more post here. Go to the next page, no more post. But let's see if we've lost this one. If I refresh and definitely we have lost it. So the only thing here is the redirect from delete.php okay so delete.php where does it do okay so this is where it does the delete post and then it relocates to a specific location now in the interest of um, security here you see sometimes a user can have all these errors like access denied but then as soon as they hit the post button, regardless whether the access was denied or not, uh, they still get to delete this post. So the important thing we have to do here is to put this error, copy that. So it has to be this and, so let me just put this one here. Oh. If error, is equal to empty so we have to make sure that there were no errors before we can actually delete something 
okay just a precaution there and then there is return true so now since the post has been deleted it's important to know where this this user will return to so maybe the profile okay we're going to handle that in a later video so for now at least we've dealt with uh, deleting so let me delete this as well just to clean things up a little bit all right so the next thing we want to do is to hide the these buttons on a profile that we don't own and also to to be able to delete comments that do not belong to us so we'll do that in the next video